In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use BMV Esta, which is the BMV workshop system. By the end of this video, you will know where to find repair instructions, system functions, technical data, procedure, and many things else. As you can see on the screen, this is the user interface of the software. To begin, I'll show you how to input your vehicle information. There are four ways you can input your vehicle info. First of all, you can input a VIN number. You can choose read out vehicle data, which is auto VIN decoding. You can input model code. Lastly, you can choose basic features, which is input the vehicle information one by one. In my experience, you will only need to use VIN and read out vehicle data as they are fast and produce the same results. So, let me type in the VIN number of this 2009 BMW 320AI. Then click Open Operation. You will need to wait for the software to establish connection with your vehicle. Once it is able to access the ECU, you will see all the vehicle data shows up here. Check if they are correct. Then you can further access all documents by clicking Vehicle Management tab. You will see six sub tabs here. But for Auto Repair Shop, you will primarily use the first three tabs, which are Repair and Maintenance, Troubleshooting, and Service Function. Under Repair and Maintenance, you will have these types of documents Time and Torque. Repair instruction, installation location, and technical data. Let me show you what they actually look like in the repair and maintenance tab. I'll choose engine, as is the, the most popular one for all technicians. You will have to wait for a while to loading up the software. Once the software is loaded, you can see all the components here on the right side. You can expand it by clicking the arrow here. Pay attention to this type column. This is what you will need to know. There are abbreviations that describe the type of documents for each component. You can look at this table here to know their description. You can Google it or comment below. I'll send them over to you. For this repair and maintenance tab, you need to remember these abbreviations. AZD, Titan and Torque, SWZ, Special Tools, REP, Repair Instruction, TED, Technical Data. So, how are you going to use the abbreviation in this according component? For example, you want to find Titan and Torque for flywheel, you will choose flywheel along with AZD. Here you can see the specified torque to tighten the flywheel, 130 Newton meter. Let's go back to our recommend list. Another example we commonly use is the Titanium torque for camshaft, it would be AZD camshaft. This table contains all specifications for camshaft components. Let's try FTD, Vehicle Engineering Diagnostic. For example, FTD of um, engine control from code N45 to E93. You can see the description along with the instructions in here. The second most used item is acronym with REP, Repair Instruction. For example, you can look at the instructions for adjusting camshaft timing. They will show you instructions, attention, and specify to, and many things else. The third common one is the acronym with REH, Testing Instruction. It will show you how to test certain components when you suspect something is not working right. For instance, let's try uh, leak testing and tech system. This document even has instruction videos with step-by-step -step guidance and specified tools. This also has the function description of uh, the system, so you will have a better understanding of how the whole thing works. The next one I want to introduce is 
SWZ which is special tools you can see many things like bushing extractor filter gasket gauges etc for example one of the most commonly used is compression gauge you can see it is very detailed with specifications and two pictures when you already have the repair instructions and tool needed you will subsequently need technical data which is acronym that's TAD TD with technical data you will know the range of specifications when performing certain tasks i.e. how much fuel pressure etc for example let's look at the general data of S46 engine you can see the exact spec for this engine 84 mm for bore which is diameter 10 to 4 for compression ratio and compression pressure is larger than 15 another figure that you always need when performing maintenance is oil capacity it is also categorized in this TED for example you can see the filling capacity for this A90 and similar models is 4.25 liters with oil filter to recap there are four categories in this repair and maintenance tab that you will use the most ACD, Titanium Torque, SWZ, Special Tools, REP, Repair Instruction, TED, Technical Data. Moving on to the next tab, which is troubleshooting. You will need to come here when you want to test certain components to see whether they are functioning improperly or properly. Under troubleshooting, make sure you choose function structure, then choose the system that you want to find more information in. For example, I'll choose power trend. One thing to remember is that in this troubleshooting tab, you will also need to know the three most common acronyms, which are ABL, procedure, FUB, function, SSB, wiring diagram. For example, I want to know the procedure to test an alternator. I'll choose ABL, alternator. Since my software is not connected with a car, I couldn't actually show you what's in it. The second most common one is FUB, which is function. For example, I want to know the function of the camshaft sensor. I'll choose FUB, camshaft sensor. Let's see the description of camshaft sensor with its images. Let's see the function of alternator. This document explains how it works in different phases. It also has electrical structure and diagnosis instruction. Okay, moving on to the next acronym which is SSP. Its abbreviation is wiring diagram. For example, let's open wiring diagram of um, Aaron Tech. You will choose SSP and supply right here. We can try another one. Let's see wiring diagram of accelerator pattern module. You can see the APP sending signal to the ME, which is engine control module. So these are things that you can find in this tab. To recap, this troubleshooting tab provides you with technical documents like function, wiring diagram, and procedure. You will come to this tab when suspect something is wrong and need to test it. The next and final tab I want to talk about is service functions. One similarity to troubleshooting tab is that it also has ABL and FUB. The difference is that they are not about procedure and function. They are there for adjustment, calibration, activation and resets. For example, in your daily work, you might need oil reset in maintenance and pre-delivery check category here. Work replacement reset, injustice and suspension, transmission adaptation or biotronic adaptation in powertrain category. All right, so that's it for ISTA. To summarize, you will mostly use repair and maintenance, troubleshooting, and service functions. You will go to repair and maintenance for repair and maintenance instructions. You will go to troubleshooting when you suspect something is not working correctly and how to test it. Finally, you might come to service function for adaptations and resets. Remember, these tabs are here on the vehicle management tab. 
Alright, so that's just for this video. This is how you can find related documents in this stuff. In the next video, I'll show you how to dash no trouble codes using this BMV software.